This is a very brief module to um, tell you basically about how to build your very first circuits um, and this is going to be very um, directly relevant to the lab. Okay, so very briefly we're going to talk about TTL logic, so transistor-transistor logic. Okay, sister, transistor. logic. What I mean in this case is basically that in your lab kit you'll find a little chip like the one shown here and on this chip there's essentially a very small number of gates. Typically I mean here it's shown four but it's sort of the order of, of magnitude. Um, these are hardwired but what you can do is make connections between the input and output terminals of um, these chips to build little circuits. Moreover this um, there's a sort of a, um, two terminals, a ground terminal, which is typically connected to uh, zero or it's at zero volt, and a true higher voltage terminal, typically at five volt. Okay, so here's of the workflow that you're going to realize in the lab. So you're going to start with a true stable or some very high level description of the function that you want. Obviously, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to write um, the corresponding Boolean expression. You're going to minimize the Boolean expression. And maybe you're going to draw your circuit out um, in terms of, of logic gates. Then you also have to essentially map the gates. You know, you're typically going to have some expression in terms of AND and OR and NOT gates. So you now you have to map this to the available gates, which in this case um, is going to be NAND gates. And you kind of have to decide how many of these um, chips you're going to need. Like how much can you fit into one of these little devices given uh, you know, the size of your circuit. OK, so on the left-hand side here, this may be the sort of when you get to this point, this is what you have, right? This is the circuit that you want to build. And now you have to decide how to realize this circuit on this particular um, chip. So on this chip, unlike in the previous slide, you don't have AND gates, but you actually have NAND gates, which is also what you'll have in the lab. Um, it's, of course, more realistic, or more obviously NAND gates being easier to realize or re requiring fewer transistors than AND gate. It's sort of the preferred technology. OK, so now you have to go from the left-hand side sort of target to the right-hand side um, realization. And maybe the first thing you're going to do is you're going to pick one of these gates and you're going to say that that is your sort of output gate. So I'm just going to give this a little number one corresponding to this particular gate here. Then you might say, well, this in this circuit diagram on the left hand side, this gate one is connected to um, gates two and three. So here I'm going to connect the output terminal of this gate number two to the input here. And then of course this would be gate number three and I'm connecting the output to here. Okay, so now I've realized essentially everything except the inputs um, to the, the first layer of gates. <coughs> okay. So now this is kind of interesting. Um, obviously, this input here is not A. So somehow I have to realize this inverter. And since I don't explicitly have inverters on this chip, what I'm going to do is just essentially calculate or use the fact that the NAND of A and A is just not A. So that's what I'm using this um, gate for. And then, of course, I'm connecting the output of that gate to an input of gate 3. Similarly, um, the other input is connected. So B here is also connected to that gate. And then similarly, A, as shown here, is an input to gate 2. And C is the second input to gate 2. So now I've kind of realized this initial target um, circuit in this particular um, Good. 
So that's what we just did. Now in your lab, you're actually going to have something that looks more like this, some sort of um, red board that you can connect components to. So you can plug in your chip essentially like this, and then use wires to really make all the connections that we sort of uh, conceptually drew on the left-hand side, right? And uh, <coughs> sorry, specifically in your in your lab, um, the output, the final output F here, is going to be connected to an LED, so it's going to be a little light signal, and your inputs A, B, and C are essentially going to be switches that you can manually set to take different values. Okay, and of course, each of these gray row here, rows here, you can imagine being connected. Each of these um, little connectors allows you to essentially talk to, the, to, an, to this particular output here. Okay, so you could have multiple wires coming off this particular gate. Okay, so that's essentially just a brief overview of what you're going to do um, in, in lab one and how you could actually build little circuit using transistor-transistor logic.